Pay for performance is a method of improving uh, the quality of care uh, and what it does is it um, provides bonus payments to medical care providers for seeing more people and providing them uh, higher quality of care. Uh, the problem that we see in lots of countries is that many medical care providers, uh, while they know appropriate clinical procedures for treating uh, patients of many different conditions, many times they don't uh, practice, they don't provide the services up to their knowledge and ability. And we're trying to use performance incentives, bonus payments, in order to get them to increase or improve the quality of care up to their ability. Well, what's interesting is, is these schemes have been in play in place in the United States and in England for a while, but they haven't. There's very mixed results from those countries, in large part because um, medical care providers are reasonably well compensated uh, in those countries, and the incentives haven't been very powerful. That the idea that um, that the uh, increase, the bonus payment, is small, and it's for indicators which are very far removed uh, from effort. In developing countries, or low and middle income countries, uh, I think the evidence is different. In uh, pay for performance schemes that have strong incentives, and what I mean by strong incentives is the payment rates are high, and they're directly tied to the effort of the providers to provide better quality to more patients, we do see some success. Uh, two countries in which I've worked are Rwanda and Argentina, and we have strong evidence from both countries from maternal and child health that uh, with pay for performance incentives we see more mothers getting uh, prenatal care at higher quality rates, better institutional deliveries, uh, improved uh, postnatal care, uh, growth monitoring and while baby care, and uh, health outcomes have improved dramatically from this. In Rwanda we see it in the height and weight in kids, in, in Argentina we see it in birth weight in terms of uh, big reductions in uh, babies, uh, low birth weight and very low birth weight, we've seen reductions in those, increase in APGAR scores, reductions in neonatal mortality uh, and in, um, and in uh, height. So in those two countries, uh, they've been very successful. Uh, and I think uh, it, when implemented well, uh, these programs uh, have the potential to dramatically uh, improve uh, access to higher quality care leading to improved health outcomes. Well, Mexico, I think, uh, is an example where pay for performance has great potential. Um, we've seen in Mexico recently uh, universal cover achieving universal coverage of uh, health insurance uh, and, uh, for the whole population through Seguro Popular. The institutions of Seguro Popular, EMS, ISTE, uh, the Ministry of Health uh, facilities, uh, Oportunidad is focusing on it, has meant that we're getting many more, uh, many more, more of the population, especially the poor and the indigent, access to care. Mexico, like other countries, also has a problem with quality of care, and incentives could work here. And they could work here for a number of reasons. One is it's the last frontier. It's one of the la one of the things that's left to do. Two, the institutions are very strong. So, for example, Seguro Popular already enrolls poor people into uh, its insurance fund, and it already pays medical care providers for their care. And so, it has an institutional relationship with the medical care providers. And so, putting pay for performance means altering the way the money goes from Seguro Popular to the clinics. So we don't have to create a new financial intermediary. We don't have to establish relationships. What we do, we have to do it. And I think uh, it would be um, a big addition and improvement to Seguro Popular. It would become a key player, not just in insurance, but in incentives to improve quality of care that get to the poor. And it also is the case that Me Mexico technologically is ready for it. Uh, pay for performance systems require measuring quality, measuring performance. Information systems and measurement uh, are really critical. And as Mexico moves to electronic medical records, uh, its IT technology, uh, uh, it would be relatively cheap to implement it here. 
my sense is Mexico's ready for this. It'd be very interesting to see if Seguro Popular would pilot some of these procedures in one state. Mexico is a phenomenal country in terms of using evidence to develop its policy from Oportunidades to Seguro Popular to Liconza to many programs uh, in the social sectors in particular. Mexico has been a leader in impact evaluation and using that to, to drive policy. And this could be, um, and my recommendation to Mexico is this is, the, the, the opportunity is here, the setting is right, it's worth a pilot to generate some evidence to see how we can make it work, improve the healthcare system, improve access to higher quality for the poor, and improve the health and welfare of the population in Mexico.